Operation New Blood is infusing the Rainbow Six Siege roster with some Year 9 Season 2 shakeups as the Recruit Remaster bestows a big time promotion. Say hello to Striker on the attack and Sentry on the defense. Though these former recruits don't have their own unique gadgets, they do have the unique ability to bring two different secondary gadgets, allowing you to create some electrifying playmaking combos. Also this season, two dominant defenders, Fenrir and Solis, are dialing it back a notch, and Barbed Wire is sharpening its teeth. The noisy obstruction will now damage operators that move through it. These updates, as well as versus AI additions, map filter changes, stadium renovations, and more are coming in Operation New Blood. The Recruit Remaster is here, and henceforth, these operators will be known as Striker and Sentry. Each can now be selected in ranked play, and their appearance can be customized in the manner every other operator is accustomed to. Unlike other operators, Striker and Sentry do not have unique gadgets. Instead, each can choose two secondary gadgets to bring into the fray. So Striker can finally realize the attacker's dream of solo opening an electrified wall by taking impact EMP grenades and a hard breach charge. Or perhaps just a regular breach charge paired with a strategic claymore to create routes that are perilous for defenders to follow. Every secondary gadget an attacker could choose, Striker gets to choose two, provided they aren't the same choice. So, no doubling down on smoke grenades, all you diffuser plant enthusiasts. Maybe just some stuns on the side. Meanwhile, on defense, Sentry also has two choices to make, but from a very different pool of gadgets. They can go all in on the intel game by bringing an observation blocker and placing a bulletproof camera nearby to further deter prying eyes. Or they can create some very dangerous situations by serving up strategic proximity alarm placements with a nitro cell chaser. The key here is flexibility, as both Sentry and Striker open up possibilities for both solo and team utility compositions that were not possible before, and each one has a versatile loadout to match. On the attack, Striker brandishes the M4 assault rifle or the M249 light machine gun as their primary, with the 5.7 USG pistol or ITA-12S shotgun as their secondary. Sentry, on the defense, wields the Commando 9 assault rifle, or the M870 shotgun as their primary options, with the C75 auto machine pistol, or super shorty shotgun in the secondary slot. Operation New Blood is also bringing balancing changes for Fenrir and Solis to address these dominant defenders. Fenrir will now only have four FNAT Dreadmines to distribute, with two activation codes to deploy amongst them, and the mines will no longer be bulletproof in any state. This means less mines are active, and they're easier to remove. But once a mine is destroyed, Fenrir will now be refunded the code instead of losing it, allowing him to more easily use the full complement of his mines. As for his loadout, his barbed wire option will be replaced with the observation blocker. On the Solis side, her Spec IO Electro Sensor will no longer be usable during the prep phase, giving droning attackers a little more breathing room. Once the action phase is underway, the gadget will have a reduced duration of 10 seconds, as well as a reduced range of 12 meters. Plus, it'll need to be fully recharged before each activation. Finally, her impact grenade option is being replaced with proximity alarm. For more, follow this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Op 4 eliminated.